Welcome to English Listening and Vocabulary. So Sarah, let's talk about sleep. Um, how many hours of sleep do you usually get every night? Usually at least eight. Depends on how late I stay up, but usually about eight hours I try to get every night. And you're pretty consistent. Like even on the weekends, you get eight hours. Yes, even on the weekends. Sleep is very important for me to feel normal and energetic. Now, do you need an, an alarm clock to wake you up, or do you just wake up naturally every day? I definitely have to have an alarm clock. Even though I wake up very easily, I don't wake up at a routine time easily. So I usually set two alarms, and、um, that'll usually get me up. Oh wow! I actually have this kind of weird mental ability. Um, I thought that everybody could do this, but I found out it's not the case. But I can wake up exactly at the minute I want, any time. So, like, if I have to get up at five forty-three, before I go to bed, I can say, "Okay, get up at five forty-three," and I'll wake up at five forty-three exactly. I don't、That's、know. How, yeah, I don't know. How, I guess your brain just can keep time. I. I I, when I tell people this, sometimes I think, "Oh, come on, that's not true." But really, like I, ever since I was a kid, I could just tell myself what time I want to wake up, and I'll wake up exactly at that time. That's really quite amazing. I wish, I wish it was that way for me, but it's not. Yeah, well, it's weird because like I, I, I don't use alarm clocks, and I, I can't, like an alarm clock. The idea, actually, I can't have a deep sleep if I know that it's going to ring and wake me up. Like it's going to jolt. To me, an alarm clock is like somebody throwing cold water on you. You know, so I, I yeah, I don't use alarm clocks at all. Yeah, I'm always paranoid about being late, so that's why I set two, just in case like one doesn't go off. But I can sleep any time of the day. Like it really doesn't matter what type of day. It's very easy for me to fall asleep for as long as whenever. So that's why I have to have an alarm clock because I could sleep 12 or 14 hours and not wake up. Wow, that's like you do like sleep. Yeah. So do you take naps? No. Because then I feel really like groggy and really like irritable if I take naps for only because I just want to sleep longer than that amount of time, so I don't take naps. Like, can you sleep with the light on? Yes. Really? Yes. Yeah, I can't. Actually, that's probably why I I, I always wake up so early. As soon as the light comes through the window, I wake up. I can't sleep if, if it's not dark. I can sleep in any situation: light, noise. Sitting up doesn't matter. I can sleep. Oh wow! So you're a deep sleeper. Yeah.、Oh, I'm so jealous. Like just a little bit of noise or a little bit of light, and I can't sleep. And actually, I probably only get on average six hours a night, but I do sometimes take naps. Okay. How long do you usually nap for? Usually an hour. I find out if I go over an hour, then that's the danger zone because then if you sleep like two or three hours, then you wake up and you're just groggy for the whole day. Like you can't. It's like you've been drugged, you know. So, yeah, a forty-five minute nap's about it. Yeah. When you were a child, did your did your parents make you take naps? They did, and、uh, oddly enough, when I was a kid, though, I couldn't sleep. Like, you know, you would cry. I don't want to take a nap, you know. And then you'd be like, <laughs> you'd conk out. <laughs> But yeah, I do remember. Do you remember having to take naps in school? I didn't go to school actually. I was homeschooled,、oh, so、really? I I remember taking naps when I was really little. But beyond that, and like school age, I never had to. Huh. Anyway, this,、uh, all this talk is making me tired. I think I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> Sounds good. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. Support us by clicking on the like button and leaving your comments here. Thank you.